This week on One Crazy Story, comedian Jeff Horst joins us to talk about how shaving a mustache can change your life forever. Oh, all I had to do was just shave my mustache, mm-hmm. and it was like the That's girl it. in the movies where they just take <laughs> off her glasses, and they're like, everybody feels she's pretty now. <laughs> like a John Hughes movie. Yeah, it was a John Hughes when movie. When Jeff shaved his mustache, mustache. the mustache was like, all people He's were... a prince now. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of One Crazy Story with Nate Armbruster. I'm Nate Armbruster, and if you notice, I've been titling these new episodes a little differently, kind of with, uh, so I try to pick something that kind of gives you the general subject of the conversation, or, you know, whatever my guest is is coming on to talk about, and this week, if you'll notice, it, it might not be a little obvious, <laughs> to what the subject is because it you know legend of the horse stash which i didn't know until jeff my guest came by to tell me about um anyway so we all might make some decisions in high school that we look back on especially when it comes to fashion and we might regret i think everybody does if you don't you're probably lucky but you're also probably what'd you do what'd you do in high school nothing did you do nothing did you wear nothing I mean, everybody kind of, I mean, you know, I think everybody has something they, they regret if you go back far enough. Anyway, Jeff, Jeff's is great because Jeff, um, Jeff had a mustache all through high school. And if you want to see a picture of this mustache, I don't know how else to do this other than go to the One Crazy Story Facebook or Instagram page and Twitter. And uh, I'll post one of his senior pictures there because this thing is, is amazing. Um, but yeah, I, apparently no one, uh, no one in Jeff's life decided to tell him, really tell him that he, he kind of looked like a pedophile for most of his, his youth, <laughs> his later <laughs> youth years. But yeah, when you get to college, things change and, um, hopefully they change for the better. Right. And in Jeff's case it did. So, um, so yeah, so this week Jeff's, Jeff's gonna, t- we're going to discuss the, the legend of the horse stash. And uh, and a few other things, but uh, comedian Jeff Horst. Uh, if you want to get in touch with Jeff too, make sure you uh, follow him online. Everything is Jeff Horst, J E F F H O R S T E. So find him everywhere on the internet. And enjoy this week's episode with comedian Jeff Horst. Thanks for not sending me money, by the way, six years ago. <laughs> I saw that. At first, I didn't know if it was my message to you or yours to me. I was trying to figure out who even sent that. I. But it said. But then it said your name in there. Yeah. It's so it's obviously one of those hacking like phishing things, yeah. and uh, it's it says I'm like I'm trapped in England or whatever. Yeah. And um the when that first started happening, it was on an old Facebook page because I eventually <laughs> I had to delete it because like I was I went on a friend's Facebook and was chatting with myself mm. about this because they were ask all my friends. It was like all of the friends on my page were getting asked for money. That so I was you stuck actually in messaged yourself and well, got a response like, I, from yourself? I got yourself? locked out, yeah, because yeah. like, they changed Holy my password. Shit. So I'm like, hey, um, you all right, man? <laughs> Just from like my friends. And they're like, yeah, we need money. We're, like, we're, you know, we're trapped in England somehow. <laughs> and like, you would think the fact that people fall for this shit is mind blowing because like anyone who knows me knows where I'm at, mm-hmm. right? Like, yeah, I mean, yeah. at least a trip like England. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think you just go on a whim. It's not like I'm not going to Toledo, it's, you know. Especially the way that the conversation would have went if you actually were stuck in Tol- in, in England. Yeah, you'd have been like, "Holy shit, Jeff!" Yeah. Now I know that you think it's weird. I actually, just so you know, I did <laughs> ask twenty people yeah, before you. Jeff, I have family, Jeff. My mom said no, and you're the only person. <laughs> I, I, my, you're the only person that. Uh, I could think of after all of my friends, my close friends and family. I know we don't would talk actually, that often. I know. I would definitely ask is, a, a fellow comedian for a large sum of money. Like, you know what I mean? Or you would mention, like, like when you when somebody falls that far down in the situation, you like feel like you almost have to let them know. Yeah. Like I've like I've needed somebody last minute for a road trip and mm-hmm. and, and to go to Goonies, mm-hmm. and I was like, I don't want to drive that far. Can I get somebody yeah. to do guest sets? Oh, this sucks. <laughs> and then uh, the club said that yeah, you could you know somebody could do guest sets, and then it, but it's kind of like asking someone to do a podcast. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, it's really. I feel really. I always feel weird about it. I always yeah. feel weird like <laughs> Jeff. Hope this is still your phone number. <laughs> 
Uh, anyway, good to see, good. Hope everything's well. Anyway, you want to do a podcast? You want to do something for free? <laughs> like I have a list of people's That's phone numbers and I like don't even fa- know if I've talked to them on the favor. phone. It's all it is oh, is a favor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you're just like, what am I really asking people to do? <laughs> it just yeah. feels so weird. But then, and then you compare it to stand up, and I'm like, why do I do stand up then? It's the same bullshit. Yeah. I need to practice talking <laughs> I am out loud. I'm bored. I'm bored. <laughs> I need to practice talking out loud in a different way. I literally way. had it's all, all this day. Is. How about three? Okay. You know what? I got a flat tire. Can we make it like five? I'm sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> then I said 515. And yeah. at this point, it changes so many right. times. I didn't even want to tell you that I knew it was going to be 530. Either- I didn't even want to update you because I was like, God damn it. I've already changed it three times. I well, can't tell him. I can't tell this again. Well, you know, what's great is I'm sitting waiting and I'm just like, it's not like I'm late for anything. I have nothing else to do with my life. <laughs> my life. This is my life. It's just boat. waiting on people to do my podcast. <laughs> And just, st- just, just nothing. Just a bunch of nothing is what it is. Ah, oh, it's such a weird life I've chosen. How'd yeah. your flat tire? Did you get it fixed? How'd that go? I did. Um, <laughs> it's the first uh, new car that I've ever had where like I got the, the insurance where they just so give you a new free. tire. Yeah, it's just free. And then you f- I feel guilty every time. Like I feel like I'm still cheating even though I'm paying for it. <laughs> I'm not. A, I'm it's not, a nice perk. Yeah, I'm not used to services. Was it a big blowout or did you just get a nail? It was uh, it was just a slow leak apparently. Fuck it was yeah. just uh yeah, it was an it's it nice. was an easy so you thing. You drove right to the thing. And then uh There you go. Yeah, I, I and they went... make it so easy to change them now. Yeah, I I, I went there. I, I can actually change them now. <laughs> the weird, the, and I'm I, the least I I actually the first time I was, first time I I had a flat. Uh-huh. I, I had a new car and it was the same deal where it was just like but they're like, "Yeah, just move these take off these bolts." And then the jack comes with it. So like the little fucking uh-huh. you just <laughs> It's like, yeah, yeah. oh, it's so easy. Like, I've never they tried it. it like, I assume no, it was I've way never, harder than this. I thought it was way harder. That's how, that's how not, you know, that's how not, I don't know, manly. Is that the term? Yeah, that's I think how it is, not. Because I'm in the same boat as you. I'm upset that I didn't even, they didn't even give me a spare tire. They're, <laughs> oh. they're pretending now. Now that when they, they come up with new products where they pretend like it's, it's better when they're just trying to save money. Mm-hmm. That's all it is. Like. They say, oh, well, we did some research and we found out that 90% of the people that have flat tires, like a fix a flat will basically is all it's for. And since we're giving you roadside assistance, we're going to take away the spare tire. Why, we'll send somebody to, to pick up your car or mm. change a tire or whatever for free anyway. So why would we give you a tire then if you have the free roadside assistance? That's weird. And so it like basically comes with like a different version of some fix a flat. <laughs> And it has like a a, a thing that uh, it, it, you know a tire gauge slash it it's like a whole fill kit. Up. Yeah, it's like a kit where you <laughs> can the, like where, if you can't figure this out, you yeah. shouldn't have a driver's yeah, license. Yeah, so I didn't get a tire, <laughs> but I did get something that I could add air immediately by just plugging it into my car and mm. seeing where it's at. And so uh, so that helped me out. So you're like, all right, and I can so, get like ten miles on this. And then I didn't know that now car companies will just if you go to the dealership, they'll just drive you to work because. <laughs> They'll just take you to work every morning. Yeah, I was. (laughs) Hey, I got a flat again. Will you take me to work? (laughs) No, it's it's down the road. Don't worry about it. I'll I'll take care of it. (laughs) Just give me a ride to work, please. Just like sell your car. (laughs) You're like, I got another flat. (laughs) He's got another flat. (laughs) I need. I work in Tulsa. So I had a lease. I had a Tulsa. Yeah. Is there how is there a mile radius you guys go? I thought I had to ask him if I, if I had to pay him any money because that's originally I said <laughs> no. I have to pay you? The guy said, "Do I have to?" The guy's pay like, you, oh, sir? "The guy's like, oh, do you need a ride to work?" Because I was wearing my work shirt, and then I was like, and I was like, ah, no. And then I was like, how much does it cost, by the way? And then the guy already started walking away after I said yeah. no, and then she was like, oh no, it's free. And I was oh, like, gosh. yeah, I'd do it. I, I mean, I was gonna wake up my dad and have I, him drive me. I love that. Um, I love that. <laughs> The noticing your shirt was the only reason she offered. Yeah, that was the only reason she offered. You look I'm, like you got I'm go assuming, somewhere. I'm assuming that she was like, yeah. a, otherwise yeah. I probably didn't look oh. employed. Oh, you worked there? There's a I was right down the street. I got you. <laughs> yeah. uh, there's there's a 20 sh- minutes away. Like I felt like, I was like, do I have to give him any money? There's no right. tip Well, thing. that seems very fine. It seems like a little, like you wouldn't expect that yeah. shit to be free. Yeah. But it, I worked it in was. Tulsa. The last, <laughs> the last car I had was a lease and it was, um. It was uh, the first flat tire I ever got. So I took it in, did the whole mm. thing. They patched it, right? And then when mm-hmm. you turn it on a lease, you have to pay for that tire, though, if it's because uh. it's not, you know, because you have to like turn it in. Okay. Fucking, you know, Brand new you know or what something? I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has to be like off the off the lot sort of thing. Okay. So there can't be any patches. That was like one of the shady rules. Mm. And I was like, so you're telling me all I got to do is like, like, cut a bigger hole in this thing because i'll do it i'll do it 
<laughs> you think I, you don't put it past me? <laughs> they try to get you, man. And what and and what I noticed about flat tires is everyone loves to tell you you have a flat tire. I don't oh, know if this happened yeah, yeah. to you today. But it's no. like, you know, you got a flat. I'm like, you got a, do you I? Got a, yeah, when it's that flat. Like, nobody <laughs> told me because it wasn't, I, it wasn't obviously flat, like, but I have had that happen yeah. when it was obviously flat and everybody told me. Yeah. You're like, yeah, no shit. Yeah. And like, I, because that happened, my last car was, was ridiculously just like a terrible, it was at the level of, I am not like going to rim. make, I'm not going to make any expense to this car to prolong it anymore. <laughs> If if it dies, yeah. it dies. If it's a fi- if it's an if it's a relatively inexpensive fix, that's fine. But like people were telling me, oh, you shouldn't drive on your tire that bald. And I'm like, well, I need to get to the gas station. Yeah. And they're like, ah, but it's gonna ruin it. And I'm just like, I don't have Are a bumper gonna... on this car. Yeah, if do you I understand? Could've... I don't even have a bumper. I don't even have the mirror. Like I took it to my, for my car to get fixed one time, and the guy didn't even ask me. He just decided to take away the right mirror. Like the mirror was broken and was hanging. He doesn't even run it by. He either. didn't even run it by me i was like, driving home and i saw it in the passenger it just, seat it took, a, it took a little off the side for you he's like yeah i just assumed just, like it was just looking ugly i just didn't want it there he just he just took it upon himself well i did like you would give anyone who drives a car that looks like that any sort of advice clearly it's like yeah it's like well, of is, course of course you don't give a shit of yeah, course you, like we're why, past that yeah we're past I'm, that i will drive on all four tires as bald as they can be <laughs> If I could afford that shit, I would have fixed it. it. Like, it come was on. an 07 and it had over 300, it had like, oh, like 300,000 miles. The I'm tires not are worth that. more than the car. <laughs> if you put new tires on that. <laughs> they, there, there's uh, the scrap places that will just pick up your car and just mail you a check <laughs> or just like, right. They have like a pre-written check or like a that, sign at that the corner. Just, yeah. Junk. We buy junk. <laughs> so, so I looked into it and there's a website that uh, you fill out the mileage. You fill out all of the information about the car. Mm-hmm. A guy shows up with a pre-printed out check to the amount that like <laughs> that, and you that, can change that's like it. agreed upon or whatever it's like when you do your taxes online and you just go back a page and you're like let me just change that number <laughs> so i get a higher tax number it was the same thing is I'm this like, legit and yeah no yeah, seriously so and, you and, did and this i did this and then they showed up with a pre-written and 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 i couldn't turn the car on anymore because it was dead like it officially died <laughs> So I'm like, so they have no way of even proving how mu- what the mileage is on this car. Oh. I could get more. Mi- I'll just was pick it like a lower digital number or something. Yeah, yeah. It was oh, a digital. Okay. It's a digital uh, speedometer, <laughs> and, and and like the whole dashboard was was digital, and it, and I said that it had like two hundred thousand. Oh, it was off by like a hundred thousand. Yeah. Like it clearly yeah. had yeah. way yeah. more miles than that. But you already gave me the check, and I'll just right. say, oh, I remembered wrong. What are yeah. you going to say to me? Yeah, it's not like <laughs> that's. Fu- oh, dude, I have to. I didn't this, mention what's this website. I, <laughs> I could find it. I got yeah. an email somewhere. Okay. I wish I could plug it right now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I didn't come prepared. Well, yeah, what the, what the fuck, Jeff? You're supposed to come here prepared to talk about your shady car dealings. <laughs> <laughs> I think it helped that it was in the like the winter time because there was a blizzard. And so Yeah, no one like wants the, to be outside now. Yeah, long. the guy was just like, let's I'll just, just get the up. car. Yeah, he's he, he, he cold. He's like, no, we're just getting the car so and putting it on the check. thing. Yeah. Well, the, he handed it to cleared? me in person. Yeah, no, it cleared. Yeah. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. Uh, how much Just, how much is it for? I got at least like 500 bucks. No shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And was it worth that much? Like a blue book value or whatever? You oh, know what I mean? I don't, oh, I mean like it didn't was run. It, like, it was oh. a to- it was it wasn't like, it, But you could it like was, I get yeah. You could pay some money for it to run again someday. I don't know. Maybe. It, <laughs> I don't, it's been through I don't a lot. Understand vehicles, I, I don't know cars. cars. I, I just have know. to I just have to look you in the eyes and and test if you're a trustworthy person. That's, I just go off of the vibe of a dealer. Like I've worked in sales enough to know when you're asking a salesy question. Yeah. And the more oh, you absolutely. talk to me like just a human, I think that any salesman in the world could sell me anything if they're just like, "Hey, you want to buy this shit?" Yeah. I'm, if yeah. they just if they right. cussed if a lot, like, mm-hmm. if they talk to me like a real Dude, person, absolutely. If they said something bad about the product, I, then I would be like, "Oh, why would you say?" <laughs> oh, I, I believe you now. I was in Florida this weekend and I rented a car while I was there, uh-huh. and I rented like I did like on kayak. I rented it before I got there, sort of thing, mm. you know. Like I paid. It was like. It was like dirt cheap and it was like a Chevy spark or whatever their lowest, like their dude, whatever yeah. the, you know, the cheapest deal you could get. You yeah. know, Cause you know, who cares? There's a rental. I'm yeah. just here for a couple of days. Yeah. You're not trying to ball and, out. Yeah. No, <laughs> like, who am I trying to impress? I'm, I'm doing shows. So obviously I need to save, need as, much to save money as much money as possible. As I can. What's the point? Yeah. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna be there for like three days. This is like dirt cheap. This is perfect. And then I show up and the guy's like, uh, are oh, we going to go to Cocoa beach? And I go, yeah. And he goes, uh, uh, you want you want a convertible, don't you? And I was like, no. 
I just I want whatever it is. I I like the whole point of like reserving this car online is that I don't have to talk to you really. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? Like that's I already, why I did this online. I made my choice. I know you guys have a phone number. Yes, like every business. And I and chose place, not to call it. This place, I didn't even look. This thing is just, a, I just went for the cheapest deal I could find. And mm-hmm. it's like Google for like rental cars. And like <laughs> I show up and I'm waiting in line. I'm like, this place looks shady as hell. And I'm yeah. reading the Google reviews. There's like 500 reviews and it has two stars. Huh. And I was like, out of 500 reviews, that's that's, that's pretty a, low. That's, yeah. That's pretty low. Yeah. And I'm like, how many of these people are are like, have legit like grievances or, with this company? So yeah. I'm like reading through it and they're all like, and they're all kind of like whiny, like, reviews that i would say longer than i want yeah, exactly like the staff was rude or whatever and i'm like ah whatever as yeah. long as i was like worried it's not a waitress they're yeah. fixing your car this guy's, who cares yeah this guy, the, you're getting a car from your it's a service like then yeah. you go home with the car that you got from absolutely them. why do you need that to, three, why do you I'm need not, a, i'm driving to and from that's it <laughs> i don't hanging need, out i don't need anywhere. you to have a smile on your no. face so uh so he's like yeah you want this convertible don't you i go no i don't and they we're going like i had to talk him out like i i was just like stop just stop offering please because i don't yeah. want it i just want yeah. to get out of here it's hot yeah. and it's humid yeah and he's like he's like all right he goes i'll go get your keys and he comes back and he puts a key on the counter and this is after like i signed like you know he did the yeah. whole like insurance the, all that shit and then he puts this key on the counter and it's kind of Mustang logo on it. <laughs> you're, and I you're look like, at him and I'm like, dude, I don't want, th- I don't want this car. And he's like, it's not, it doesn't cost anything else. And it, it, I think what happened was that the car that I requested wasn't available. Uh, and he's like, I don't really have a choice anyway, but uh, it didn't cost me anymore. So I, okay. drove, I drove a fucking Mustang for a weekend <laughs> and it's the weirdest feeling. Cause it's like too nice of a car. And, to, I, and for, I was like, for I where even, you're at in I life, even it enjoy, doesn't match. I yeah. couldn't even enjoy it. It's and exactly I was, I was how like, I am. This is stupid. This is too nice. I was expecting a Chevy Spark. <laughs> that, that's <laughs> that's what I went for. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's where that's where my heart was at in this <laughs> transaction. A Chevy Spark, a nice good gas mileage, yeah. some AC. My brother uh, has a Cadillac, and when my uh, when my crappy car didn't work one time, uh, when I was delivering sandwiches for Jimmy John's. Uh, I had to borrow my brother's Cadillac, <laughs> and so I'm delivering <laughs> sandwiches in the worst gas, uh, like right. efficient in car this really possible. N- in a nice car, Let in a it, nice car, where everybody, everybody's. I'm pulling up in a in a in how a good white. You, how good were your Cadillac. tips that day? <laughs> they're not, they're awful. Uh, yeah, everyone's just oh, looking at me doing like, all right. He's already doing. What, what, why do you? Why do you? Why, why do you? Are you volunteering? Subs? Yeah. Is this your brother's company or you something? You why you community <laughs> service? What is this? Is this community service? Like paid community. Service for Jimmy John's? Do you own the company? What's wrong with you? Are you Jimmy John? Are you Jimmy John? Are you are, John? you are you are you Jimmy himself? That guy delivers his, <laughs> his own sandwich. It was <laughs> he looked a lot younger than I imagined. <laughs> Very successful, Very young, successful entrepreneur. young entrepreneur. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I was just it, yeah. I, I don't feel comfortable in things that are more expensive than I feel like I deserve. Yeah, or that I've like earned. It. I have to I have to be at that level for a while. No, for me yeah, to I didn't enjoy it. it. I don't feel. There's a level of clothes where I'm like, nope, yeah, well, I, I don't do, feel yeah. comfortable in these. <laughs> in these, even if the shoes look nice, yeah, I have to know that they. I feel like if, if somebody compliments a pair of shoes I have, I immediately feel obligated to tell them that I got a good deal on them because <laughs> I feel like it's my way of saying like because I feel like yeah. I subconsciously just I'm judge lucky. people. I'm not privileged. Who, yeah, like I feel like because because <laughs> in my head, if I see somebody with a ridiculously nice outfit, there's a part of my brain that's like he might be an asshole. Yeah. He doesn't deserve it that. Probably is. He probably is. <laughs> so I don't want to fall in that group. Right. The same group that I stereotype. Right. <laughs> I'm assuming that everybody no, judges you're right, assholes I get the same that, way that I'm I do. I'm the same way. I'm the same way. Like anyone who wears like, no, I got this at Marshalls. <laughs> they were actually fourteen dollars on clearance. The bottom of it actually has a sticker that I says all... "Display on the bottom of these shoes." Do I you want to see the sticker? Like I'm like that far into it. Every every winter I splurge and I go to Burlington Coat Factory. Okay, I get a nice ass coat from last season. Yeah, that's what I do. That's yeah, the way I look because you look nice. You, but you don't feel bad about it. You don't it. feel bad about you it because you made a good purchase. I just <laughs> yes. now, I found out a couple of years ago that Burlington Coat Factory sold things other than coats. Yeah, me too. The first time I, I went in, I was like, they got shoes here too? What the fuck? My sister got me uh, a, like, like, like a microwave like, oven. Like a $100 gift card for Christmas. <laughs> and I and it was like during the winter when I needed. That's a good gift. Yeah. And, I, and it was like, it was during the winter and I would have, and I, and I needed pants. And in my head, I was like, uh, but... I mean, I got a coat gift card. Sure. sure. <laughs> so I, and this is, I already have a coat. So I just didn't use it until I needed a coat again. And it, yeah. And it was dumb. It was, a, it was dumb. Do you need this, to take that? Yeah. It's probably not as important, but it was one, one second. 
<laughs> Hello? We hit record. <laughs> and we're Jeff back. took a big showbiz call. <laughs> Jeff had to take a uh, a real real big showbiz call. <laughs> the game changer. Game game changer. I guess we can get into the reason I asked you here. <laughs> Instead of wasting 20 minutes of your time. Yeah, it's like being an out, man. You'll just be in and out. But it's called One Crazy Story. I, the whole okay. like, theme of this topic is something ridiculous that's happened in your life. Yeah. Um, and that's, uh, that's where I'd like to go next. Okay. Well, I, uh, I, I've, I've very few times thoroughly explained why I've had a creepy ho- uh, mustache in my childhood. <laughs> <laughs> and so I guess there's like a story behind explaining <laughs> How I had like a child molester mustache in the eighth grade, like oh, yeah. a full mustache. I've have you seen the Real pictures? Thick? No, I got. You've see never this. seen the pictures? No, I haven't. You've seen the? Are you just I playing dumb? Have. I might have. There, so I, I do want to see these. Though. Um, so you had a full on thick ass. Like, oh yeah, like yeah. Like I look star, younger now, like than like, I did. Like porn star stash. Like, and even though nobody listening to this can can see this, I'll definitely um, post. Pictures. But your your reaction, I guess, would be genuine. <laughs> Um, this was, what grade was this? That's my senior picture oh, in high school. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> that's rough. Oh, yeah. I love it. Holy shit! Yeah. Wow, you do look way older here. Yeah. In this picture. Yeah, and that's just one of many. I have that mustache <laughs> wearing jorts. Could you not? Could you, I yeah. have that mustache. What year was it? What year were you a senior in high school? Uh, <laughs> Dude, I graduated two thousand five. Yeah, this is great. Dude, I kind of want. The, I want. I kind of want a copy of this. Make it the Beep. like make it the picture that shows up when you never call. <laughs> <laughs> this would be great. Like so, if this so showed you forget up when about somebody, it when anybody calls me. It, this just showed up. I should put this under my, like my dad's name. So just so, like <laughs> I forget. I just you know I'll forget. And then yeah. like the next time he calls me, it's like holy shit, <laughs> that's Jeff's porn stash from high school. <laughs> that's intense though. You do look way old in that yeah. picture. Yeah, it's it's insane. And it, 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 to me, it's weird thinking back about history because. The way that it happened was I grew facial hair at such an earlier age than mm-hmm. everybody else that it was a cool thing. Yeah. So it was like, at yeah. first <laughs> when it starts, it's a cool thing. And then there's sometimes I had the same group of friends as because I, I was in Southfield schools. The same kids from my elementary school went yeah, to the same middle school or went to the same high school. And eventually somebody gets to know you. And, you, and if you change anything, sometimes just because something looks different. Even if it looks better, people make fun of you about it. Yeah. So the first time I shaved my mustache, people were like, Jeff, you look weird without you, because they were just used to seeing it. Right. So then I felt self-conscious getting rid of my mustache, mm-hmm. which I shouldn't have. That's just an no, example of, right. that's just an example that kids can always be shitty. It doesn't matter the context. You're right. I clearly you looked better. You should have been way happy with that decision. Yeah. I, I clearly looked better without it, but because one kid just tried to make a joke somewhere where there was no joke, I still was like. I gotta right, grow this I'm, back. I gotta, I'm never shaving this again. Yeah, no. I just thought that my face looked better with this. Did you part not? Covered. Could you not grow a beard too? This doesn't really connect. Yeah, the mustache like... doesn't really connect to like the the oh, chin dude, hair. That looks it's so, so gross. Yeah. Oh, I love so, it. So it it was just the mustache and oh, that's so funny. And in in what what ended up happening was I um I I had it for so long that uh yeah people made fun of me about it. Then um I took it with me to college. And the picture I took it with or me. the mustache? I, t- I took it with me to mu- must- my mustache. Yeah. I packed it in a suitcase. So you I brought you it with trim me. it off into a bag. <laughs> I trimmed it off a bag. <laughs> just like, I brought the hairs. You just like, yeah, you just put a push pin through it <laughs> on your loft. <laughs> exactly. I don't forget it. Memories up, never ladies? fade. What's that, in my, what, what's that in that bag you got there, Jeff? <laughs> my oh, mustache yeah. hair. <laughs> <laughs> I named him. Um... <laughs> Which he did get named. Oh, yeah. Uh, he got named by the cross-country team at Eastern Michigan University. They called it a horse stash. My last name is Horst, so they <gasps> yes. call it the horse stash. I like stash. that. That's and... the coolest thing about everything that we're talking about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it's just like, yeah. they, when, that makes it cool right there. Yeah. They call you it keep the, that stash. They call it the horse stash. And in cross-country team, they were strangers to me. Mm-hmm. So they these were like, we're doing, oh, yeah, these are new people, but I'm a part of the same group as them. Right. So they were so, like, I'm friendly enough to be honest with you because we do the same thing. We have the yeah. same hobby, the activity, but I also don't know you too well to feel awkward saying you need to shave that fucking mustache. <laughs> yeah. So everybody in the cross country team <laughs> told me to shave my mustache and uh, dude, if that's the case, though, you should have just started with a clean slate. <laughs> I should have been like, yeah. you know what? These people don't know what I look like with or without it. Yeah. So yeah. like I could just like just go in and clean. 
going clean. No one ever has to know about this. But you're like, no, I'm sticking with it. Yeah, I, I didn't. I, I still book. didn't think that there was an issue with it. I still <laughs> didn't. I went to college. And I never associated the fact that like I don't I don't I, I never know what's a weird age for somebody to lose their virginity. But apparently people do it in high school, which is insane to me. I think everybody's <laughs> once lying. you realize how young I think every single person that says is. that I'm like fucking shame on you. And other people <laughs> what try to look do? down on me for for losing my virginity in college. And I'm like, no, you're you're I don't care. Yeah, no. Male, female, <laughs> regardless of it, you're a whore. I don't care your you age. You, 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 that's disgusting. It's so gross. Like, how what did you possibly? Possibly get over the awkwardness of it. Right. It's, it's, it's awkward been... to even talk to the other gender. To, yeah. to, to any person you're attracted to. Right. It's it's awkward to do that. And you <laughs> did that and you progressed to sex in your childish age. You're I have no idea. When you realize how young, six, even 18 is. I yeah. mean, I'm, I'm just... I'm 25. And people are like, oh, and I had sex when I was 15. Me. And I'm just like, how yeah. would you? It's like, what the fuck? I'm just how? thinking of that. You're like, yeah. that was terrible, wasn't it? Yeah, it was probably just awful. But yeah, like when you say, when you think of an 18-year-old today, no, you're like, like It's weird. It's it's just weird. I don't, Those I'm two like, people no. shouldn't be doing that. No. Two 18-year-olds like yeah. that consent and, and love each yeah. other. And they're they, adults. <laughs> and they're, they're, uh, <laughs> in the eyes of the government, they're adults. And I'm like, no, oh, it's so gross. Why are you guys doing that? You should wait. You should totally wait. What are you doing? Why are you rushing for this? You're so young. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be fun. And I'm young. It's gonna be fun like, later, I can't say like, the fact that I'm saying <laughs> that you. is how I'm 25. So oh yeah, like, you, you did comedy when you were like the 13. Fact, the fact that yeah, no, God that's damn. worse than losing your virginity <laughs> in high school. Is starting stand up, it's worse. Like, what are you, you doing with comedy? your life? What did, am I doing with my life? <laughs> I, you know, you guys go do your sex thing. I'm gonna go do this open mic <laughs> <laughs> up, up north. <laughs> I'm gonna drive four hours to try this. So yeah, no, just, I, I didn't have. Girlfriends in high school. Yeah, that well, wasn't mustache, a thing. I didn't yeah, have any the, of that. The mustache helped, I'm sure. Oh, Actually, yeah. you know what? And that, I didn't and I never realized that it was that related. Helped. That might have helped too. It could have worked in your favor. I think in it some did. Cases. I think it did. I think it made like because when you get confidence guy. later on, then you're just grateful for your childhood because you're like, wow. Yeah. You know what? If I would have had confidence at a young age, yeah. ever so often Shit. people get confidence too early, they turn into assholes. <laughs> yeah. So it made me humble. Yeah, I was like, like, oh, I found out at a later age that I wasn't high ugly. Guys. Yeah. All, all I had to do was just shave my mustache. Mm -hmm. and it was like the That's girl it. in the movies where they just take <laughs> off her glasses and they're like, everybody feels she's pretty now. <laughs> like a John Hughes movie. <laughs> it was a John Hughes movie. When Jeff movie. shaved his mustache, mustache. the mustache was, was like, all people he's were. He's a prince now. <laughs> he's <laughs> he turned into this beautiful turned the frog man. into a, like a like a nice jawline and like the wavy hair and a leather yeah. jacket. I don't the know. Clothes why. I think I magically went back too changed far. immediately. <laughs> I, went back, I went back too far. Oh, five was a. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, leather jacket. <laughs> you're describing leather like you're describing like happy days. <laughs> yeah. Everybody was happy though. Everybody was happy. So uh, they they made you shave uh, once you moved on to college and you were yeah, running cross country. Well, they, they didn't, and I never associated the fact of like my virginity and uh, <laughs> and 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 my mustache and uh, and 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 there was two things that that were interesting. There's uh, somebody made a group uh, called uh, We Love the Horse Stash on Facebook. Oh, really? A cross country and, team oh, member, the, the person who invented and, the name, the, the horse stash. That's amazing. He, he Especially made, he cut off the mustache wow. and he added it to every member that's on the, the, the page Dude. photo was every person on the cross country team, including some of the trainers wow. and the, the, the coach. This, this is great. <laughs> was, this is, that's I've the been coolest looking thing. for that photo. That is the coolest thing. It. Oh, my God. Because. Especially for that's way ahead of its time. This is oh oh six yeah, yeah, oh six. This is, 06 Facebook. This is yeah, dude. This is still like in the yeah. it was colleges only, right? Yeah, yeah this was colleges only. This, this was this yeah, is like oh this is OG Facebook right here. Yeah. This is before you anybody. Needed, could you needed use it. an edu. Yes, uh, yes. You needed a, email. a college email to, just to, to use access it. this. That this is this is legend. This is this is a big deal. Yeah, it was pretty I don't big deal. Yeah, I don't think if you realize that. I, I didn't even <laughs> realize that until now. The nostalgia. This is basically how it started is with all the you know without trolling all those girls <laughs> and at Harvard. But this was a mustache dilemma. This was the horse stash. Yeah. Oh. And Man. um, and I had that Facebook group, and then I had a Facebook group where somebody thought it was funny to make a friend of mine. Uh, made the Get Jeff Horst Laid Foundation group. 
You got some good friends, man. And yeah, because you know their the, hearts in it. Their the hearts in it. <laughs> it's it's like probably an awful thing to do to somebody. Yeah. But their and it's funny because when somebody like joins the group, you know that they're just joining because it's funny. Yeah. They're not joining because they want to fuck. Yeah, them. no. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. There's no women that sincerely joined the group, <laughs> right? That no, were I'm just like, oh, this, this guy, guy. <laughs> to keep me up to date with the progress. I'm really, yeah. <laughs> yeah let's <laughs> yeah let's do it. Let's do a triathlon to see who could. Wanna, who, who, nobody was who placing bets Jeff. on who it was yeah. gonna be. Nobody. <laughs> Doing that. That's so funny! Wow, so you kind of like yeah, you had quite a yeah. People quite a run. So and how big do these groups get? Do they get pretty popular? Like, uh, well, the because how many of these people like know you personally through like the uh, team? There was like five people that was yeah. in the Jeff got, get Jeff Horace Laid <laughs> Foundation. There's probably like forty people in the cross country no team one because the cross country team was a was a bigger team, mm-hmm. you know. And because uh, that's the thing about like running sports, they're just like yeah, if you're not yeah. good enough, you're not going to be on the the track when it happens. <laughs> There's no re. Why would we have a roster size that doesn't even make sense? What it's not like. Who cares? Who gives a shit? Who gives a shit? So There's funny. only the X amount of people that are the fastest that will love, invite to the race. I love that. And this, everybody else can run around the neighborhood with us for practice. Who gives a shit? Why? This is cross we don't, you don't need pads. We don't need to buy an extra yeah. helmet. You're not costing any extra money. Just run with us. Who cares? Have fun. Yeah, I, everybody. Was everybody. On the anybody could have if been on the Eastern run, Cross Country team if you wanted. If you could run, you were yeah. You yeah, were a whatever. Wa- you were a walk on or, or a run on or whatever. <laughs> you were a run on. You were a run on the team. Yeah. <laughs> but the fact that this is going on in the cross country community, I think, is fantastic. I didn't realize that all sports, te- you know, every sports team in college has oh, yeah. its has its stigmas, well, like you know. Yeah. Well, so this so this is what happened. So then one night, um, I uh, there was a, there was a cross country team party. And uh, yeah, oh, they would go. Shit. They would go crazy. They would like get drunk till five in the morning yeah. and then run twelve miles at seven in the morning. Yeah, we they, could it do was, that. It at was 18. insane. It was insane. Damn. And anyway, so, so you oh, go so to this, had this crazy party <laughs> and every and they were shaving things and I didn't connect no? it. I didn't shit. see the foreshadowing at all. Did you not get the flyer? I didn't get the flyer. No, they no, just no. thought it was funny to be like, we're gonna shave somebody's head. So yeah. Somebody that had like some crazy long hair. Yeah. They're like, we're gonna shave his head, and everyone's like, that's insane. His yeah, hair goes insane. past his shoulders, and he's a dude. <laughs> That's insane. Everybody a, just, that's a he standard. just stands out. Like when your hair is that long, you know, everybody knows you as the guy who has ridiculously long hair. That's part of his personality. So seeing him completely bald was like, what? It was insane. Then there's a guy who uh, they shaved his eyebrows. Oh, that's weird. And that's weird. That looks weird. That looks, that yeah. looks weird. Because you don't know what's wrong with somebody when you're looking at them. Yeah. Yeah. Like when somebody's going through you something can, and they have to, they're prepared. They got makeup yeah. to draw them in and stuff. You can tell when you, somebody just you, voluntarily, yeah. like, cause they have all the other hair. <laughs> <laughs> they have hair on the top well, of their head. It's like you don't they have hair it. everywhere else, so they know. Oh no, you're not sick. You're not going through chemo. You just got drunk last night. You have all of the other hair. You didn't have an <laughs> eye hair really disease. No There's no eyebrow hair thing that I know of. I hope to not offend the. Oh so, yeah, anybody. God, somebody's gonna write a blog about this episode. <laughs> I got Please eyebrow hair it. disease. Please write. The I got blog. eyebrow hair disease. I need people to listen to this. <laughs> I need you, somebody anybody to be offended. Write, you, hey, if you hate it, tell everybody because I want everybody to listen. Next guest, guest is just you. Should just gonna have a guy that likes to say <laughs> racial slurs. Actually, I guess I could, <laughs> but I'm not gonna. <laughs> and then last, I like and, talking about. But in last, the grand finale was they shaved. Uh, they shaved my horse stash. They shaved my mustache. Oh, this is the closer. This was the closer. They saved me for last. Yes. And everybody, and then the guy, remember the captain of the team? His name was Tommy. And I remember that because <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I was thinking of like, I was like, like a Power Rangers. I was, this, I was thinking. Tommy. I was like, oh, like Power Rangers. The captain's Tommy. Of course the captain's name's Tommy. And uh, he's like, you're going to thank me later. And uh, I should message him on Facebook to let him know how far it's gone <laughs> and to keep them up to date. Uh, but that would be the creepiest message. Oh if I was God. just like, that if would I be just, so funny if you just messaged him out of nowhere, just like, Hey man, these, this is what's happened with my mustache. <laughs> since <laughs> I've talked about it to strangers on stages and in podcasts. <laughs> it's gone a long way. Uh, and the horse. A thing. week later after shaving my mustache, I had my first kiss. Oh. And then two weeks later, uh, I lost my virginity to a different girl. To a than, different to girl. To a different girl. And all this. Now, did you know these girls? And then I ended up dating the girl did who you I know, lost my virginity to. Did you know these girls before you shaved the stash? Um, no, no, they knew this. That's how they knew me. Oh, and then they were, they were attracted to me. And I was like, what do you mean? I'm not, I'm not an ugly dude. 
I lived my whole life with the confidence of just, but I was a confident ugly dude. Like nobody called me ugly. Right. Well, I mean, like, but like I wasn't, I wasn't like known for getting chicks. You're not, yeah, you're not a, st- you're not not, like, I wasn't you're a stud. A, yeah. No, I know exactly. I'm the exact same way. I'm not a stud, way. but I was funny enough. Right. And you people, got by. And I got by. You got by. Nobody you made, good. nobody ever made fun of me yeah. and people liked me. Yeah. And that was enough. That's all you need. And that's, that's all, all I needed. Need. No so when a girl you. actually was like, wow, he's cute. And then I was like, Did really? You? And immediately I was like, fuck, fucking Tommy. <laughs> that God fucking damn it, Tommy. guy. That's that so guy. funny. Oh, you and, have no idea how far uh, this is. You, he, Tommy has changed your life. He's changed my life. Was Tommy really cool? I don't think that I would be, I'd, I'd, I'd have to do jokes addressing it yeah. if I still had it to this day. And then eventually it's like, yeah, the guy... Yeah, he's got funny five, like a funny five on his mustache. But then eventually it's like, dude, talk about (laughs) something else. Like, what if if I had my mustache, maybe that like overtook my personality. Like, you know what I mean? Like there's the fat comic who does like an hour and a half of why he's fat. And you're like, you do other things, right? Right, right, right. Like that would be me. The the horse stash. I would only talk about my mustache. Oh, my God. That's me and my mustache. How is that? (laughs) (laughs) You got to like everything is like. (laughs) <laughs> I couldn't go on the roller coaster because my mustache line is always related to the mustache being like the thing that's ruining your life. But you can't shave it for some reason. Yeah, I can't. Oh my god, was Tommy like really cool? He was a cool guy. Like he was like, yeah, he, he was, was like, just a genuinely cool yeah, guy. He was just a cool guy, always probably getting laid like crazy. Right? Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he was a good looking dude. Like yeah. he's like he should have been like an entourage. Like he should have been an entourage. Yeah. Like a, like yeah. Oh my god, that's so great. And Tommy was just like, dude, I got you. Yeah. shave this mustache yeah, he's up. like i'm taking this into my my own hands right now you will thank me later i'm well, not wonder, asking you everybody else says that you should i'm shaving it i wonder what is holding process, you down the whole party that was like built around shaving body parts apparently <laughs> so like, i don't know if I that's, like it was a last that's minute too thing. Broad. i feel like it was a last minute drunken but thing. do you think it was like you know what it wasn't we like promoted Jeff, as such. we gotta get <laughs> his flyers and shit <laughs> just shave like they didn't, make, just they like, didn't pressure me into like, going i felt like i was voluntarily going there you went i didn't it. know that it was i was crucial this wasn't like some sort of intervention for your like <laughs> horrible mustache it might have been it, it could have been more planned out than i knew oh that's so i'd funny. like to go i like the idea that tommy may have been like dude we gotta get like he called like a meeting among the cross country team everybody but you all 39 other yeah. team like, dude, like, we know that like, Jeff is the slowest one on the right, team alright right. but come on <laughs> the, but come on we yeah gotta we help have him. to help him that stash is so gross <laughs> there's how there's, I'm so how long were you guys pretty, were you pretty close uh, yeah, no, he was cool. yeah, no, not just, even really. That, so he, just, just, he was like, like an acquaintance like, of mine. Like, like, like that's, that means more to me. It was when like, somebody that's not even helping you because they feel obligated right. to years of friendship and shit like that. Right. I, we, I don't think we've ever talked <laughs> since. We've, I know we've never talked outside of college. Oh my god, that's so funny. He just took a good he, dude. He just felt like it's just like he was his doing. purpose on earth was fulfilled. Like, you know, he like, disappeared. He doesn't he exist. disappeared probably the like next he day. Did, he literally <laughs> was just an angel from heaven and sent here like just to, my just to the last hair shaved. He disappeared just, off of the yes, cab. just to shave your mustache. Like that was his like that was his purpose <laughs> in life. Like you know, all everything up until that point. Like he started running cross country in middle yeah. school, high school, got to college, and he's like, I don't know if I want to go to Eastern, but something called him to mm-hmm. Eastern, and then. And now we can go to heaven. And then, yep. And then he shaved Jeff Horse's mustache, the horse stash. And, it and Jeff it? is happily, living happily ever after now. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. Yeah, who knows? That guy doesn't realize the effect he's had on your life. <laughs> it all starts. It all oh starts my God. from that. Yeah, we should look him up. Yeah. I wonder if I could. I wonder <laughs> if I could right, right now. I want to see, I want to see, I want to see just... Tommy. <laughs> Oh God! It should be horrible. If something bad happened to him. Oh my God, that'd be the worst thing. <laughs> I feel like we wouldn't even be able to, f- to have this episode. No, yeah, I don't know what I'd do. <laughs> oh man, especially when you when it's a guy that you've you've never ever had a reason to talk to him on Facebook before. Just, just so you type in when you type into somebody's name and you've you it's been so long <laughs> since you've talked to that person that they. Uh, there's actually people you're not friends with with the same name that come up before him. But oh, you're yeah. friends with that person. It's, you're like, oh yeah, but you you're not actually you don't really know that person. Have you ever had that happen? Yeah. Where like you talk to that person so infrequently that when you type in their name, it tells me, do you want to? Do I want to add as a friend all these other Tommies before no, yeah. him? You're just picking and a bunch of you Tommies. You should automatically assume there's that only I'm wanna- one Tommy. Like this is like, I mean, Facebook should remember you. You guys, it's like if they go back far enough to, I mean, the 05 Facebook, man. Yeah, I feel how like, do you not, the fact that you guys were even in, in involved with Facebook that early 
and that you're not friends <sighs> now. I'm surprised. I need to. F- oh, th- th- that's what I was gonna say. There's a guy named um, Benny Rodriguez. Nice. And I like uh, that name. And uh, they used to call him Benny the Jet <laughs> because from Sandlot, there is a g- Benny the Jet Rodriguez yeah. was his name, and he was also fast. Yeah, that's, so that was that's his, funny. So they called him. <laughs> now he what was literally nickname. he looked like exactly like me. Mm-hmm. Literally. But since his lame was, but he looked like a Rodriguez <laughs> version of me. Hopefully, the girl. <laughs> and, and and so nobody told him that he had to shave his mustache. Oh, he had a mustache funny. just like I had a mustache, oh. but it just fit him better for some right. reason. Well, he he's yeah, he might have. I think personality comes with it too. You gotta yeah, have the maybe he had some other facial with. hair that kind of blended it off a little that bit. Could be it. But everyone was like, ah, you look like the white say. version, and you look like everybody just pointed at us like we look like. So funny. But then we're like, but you need to get rid of. Your mustache. Yeah. What about him? What about, what about him? Benny? It's like, oh, no, no. Benny can rock That's it. You so can't rock funny. it. You can't rock that. Stash. And then you find out the girl you lost your virginity to also had sex with Benny. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, come on, I can't. <laughs> there, there is one of the guys uh, that the guy that that made the page mm-hmm. uh, that came up with the term horse stash. His name was Jeff. Mm-hmm. And there was a girl that I did have sex with in college, <laughs> who she attempted. To she lived across the hall from that Jeff <laughs> in her apartment. She added me on Facebook and started talking to me, thinking that no I was him at way. first. That's and so then funny. she didn't tell me until afterwards because she felt bad. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I didn't feel bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If anyone should feel bad, I here, feel it's fine. probably you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I totally get why you feel bad. I totally understand I wasn't your target. But this is the situation. You gotta, you, and, and let's just put this out there. I didn't know that I wasn't the correct Jeff <laughs> before you start pressing charges yeah, you know, and shit. Yeah, honestly, you didn't have to tell me this. Yeah, you, you did. Could, you, you, you didn't have to say this out loud. <laughs> Why didn't you just? Just so you know, I didn't really want to talk to you ever in the first place, but I was wrong. <laughs> is it? Is it Thomas? His name is Tommy, right? Because it, now I can't find him on Facebook. He Did he delete exist. his Facebook? Did he Dude. disappear? Now I feel like I have to ask some of my other old you cross should. country friends. You should because be I like, think who is the captain? I who's think a, I, I got to find just, the person who's random enough that he won't think that it's weird for me to ask. Oh him man, that. you should just like, go, hey, back. go back. Random in the, question. Go back in the Eastern history books. Just go random. to the old, the old, old tract. <laughs> random question. <laughs> oh, you're actually asking who That's great. was. <laughs> The captain of <laughs> Eastern Cross Country. Oh my god! That's it. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna give any more than that. <laughs> yeah, no one needs to Nobody, know. He doesn't. Just send, he's gonna ask why, but yeah, I feel like it's send better him a to link, go in steps. Send him a link to this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> this is why. Oh my god! That's I so remember funny. it. What if his name is like Luke or something? After right. all this, and I did, I got, I, I, but I swear I thought his name Tommy, was Tommy. That, no, that sounds like a cross country captain. <laughs> it does. Well, <laughs> shit. Well, I guess we, yeah. We don't. I'm not gonna make you sit here and wait until he answers. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. But, if he answers quick, yeah. I'll I'll no, definitely okay. uh, interject. But yeah, but it's good. Uh, <laughs> it's good. I'll definitely so interject. Funny. College athlete Jeff Horst. Yeah. Fucking a man. Yeah. No. I, I used to be. In, I I went from running like twelve mile, like eight yeah. to twelve miles a day, and that would be like after classes. Mm-hmm. So that would be like during the evening or even nighttime. And then I went from that to drinking beer, eating fried food, and telling <laughs> Doing jokes. Doing comedy, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all downhill. To where I did work. All downhill. From, <laughs> from five minutes to an hour, or to 45. Usually, yeah. uh, on, on then, an average of 15 to 25. And then... And uh, that's the amount of work I did, of standing in one place while consuming water see, or alcohol. Yeah, the total 180. Yeah, that's, that's great. the most unhealthy that's opposite great. that I could possibly pick. That's so funny. You're like, yeah, you know what? Screw all that exercise. And I'm stuff. wanting it back in shape. Yeah, you could. You know, there's always time. I, I, I <laughs> think I want to. It's not the right attitude. Because it's so easy to do it. Mm-hmm. People act like it's hard to get yeah. in shape. No, yeah. It just takes a long time. Yeah. It's not like hard. Yeah. It's but, hard it's hard to care dude, about but, getting in shape. But, when but the actual so getting good. in shape yeah. is like No, you're right. That's not like, hard. That's no. not yeah. hard. Just, just yeah, just stop the hard shit. part. The hard part is having the patient the, the patience to yeah. me is extremely hard. Yeah. You have to actually have the patience to have that much time mm-hmm. that you're willing in in self discipline yep. to be willing to eat right. Yes. That means you have to buy healthier shit. 
and spend yeah, more money on the healthy. You care about There's, yourself. Yeah. And that's yeah, the hard yeah, part. Yeah, the hard part is caring about yourself. That's, that's, that's true. That's the hard part. You have to balance living yourself. years healthier and happier yes. well, yeah. versus just momentary, oh my God. Uh, did you get a response? <laughs> <laughs> Tom. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even ask That's why. So great. Why didn't he ask why? Why aren't you curious? <laughs> That's so random. It, When's the last time well, you talked it, to this guy? This guy, he came to a, a show of mine. Oh, so he knows what's uh, up. He so came he to, to a show of mine. He, he came into, uh, to a, a show of mine at uh, at Big Tommy's <laughs> when I was when I was there. And uh, he, I think he lives in Novi or near, wow. near, near. He lives nearby. Yeah. And um. Oh man, you guys reminisce about those cross country days? I just, yeah, just wondering, just wondering. <laughs> yeah. I feel like at some point I'm going to explain, but now I just want to type in. <laughs> no, just say thanks. T H X. I don't even give him the full. Oh, one. you know, do I do I'm one just, of those yeah, things? Yeah, yeah, yeah. T H X. Don't even give the full <laughs> thanks. You don't. Under, you don't want to know why? I'm asking. You know, Tom, he's number one. Is list. He, how the fuck? Wait, come on. <laughs> is he that cool of a guy now that now he can't even stay on Facebook anymore? Watch this guy follow up with a message. Yeah, he died. <laughs> oh my God, don't. Did you just kill? I feel like if he did, that's your fault. Oh, okay. You definitely did, did that. Did he follow up? I can't find anybody with the last name of <laughs> friends with him on Facebook. I'm trying to see the mutual mm-hmm. friends that he has mm-hmm. is what I was going for. But yeah. Anyway, Jeff Jeff Horst, comedian yeah. Jeff Horst, where can people find you on the internet? On the interweb, and the interwebs, go see alive and stuff. Um, all of my social media. My name is Jeff Horst, uh, J E F F H O R S T E. Hell yes! And that's uh, all of my social media. I go by Jeff Horst. So uh, all right. So, so not like Jeff Twitter comedy one two three. No, my Jeff Twitter. Horst. It's at Jeff Horst for my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Do it up. Snapchat. Uh, Good. Uh, my website is Jeff Horst, and then I threw in the name comedy at the end. Jeff Horst comedy <laughs> really throw everybody com. off, and I did because there's actually another Jeff Horst without the <laughs> e, and yeah, so uh, it beats you. Oh, keywords fucks and you uh, up. and he, I think he, but he bought the e one. Oh, and it okay. Takes it to it his web. It his redirects website. to his website. Yeah, so we'll, and I've we'll had him on guy. a flyer before and he looks like Puerto Rican. He doesn't even look white. <laughs> Benny Benny the Jet? He looks like Benny the Jet. <laughs> he looks like, he Benny, looks the like Benny the Jet <laughs> on a flyer. I've had, and his name is spelled like H-O-A-R. It, it's ridiculous. <laughs> but I've had his picture mm-hmm. and his That's spelling so of his name on a flyer God. that of a show I was supposed to be on. And I just spent you? five minutes just showing the flyer to the audience. I'm like, do you see this? <laughs> this is how- Who is this man? <laughs> <laughs> just, just show, goes to show how much like the venue cares about. <laughs> they, the, we don't even know what this guy looks like. You know, you don't look like you do in the flyer. How, yeah. how many I'm, white boys got the name Jeff? And they just go, <laughs> they just typed in what they thought phonetically the name was, and then just right click, save as, throw G-off? it on flyer. Yeah, <laughs> it's a complete. That's so funny. He's holding a microphone. Come on, how many other people can be holding a microphone in a picture on Google? And then <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> Oh my god, well thanks for doing this, Jeff. Yeah, thanks for having me. Any anytime. Alright. Like literally. Wanna do it again? Uh, right now. <laughs> right now. Round two. Round two. <laughs>